What's up guys? We're back. Friday time for What the Fitness. Comment, like, subscribe, algorithm. You know the drill. Let's get it. This week I got sent a post from an account called Genid, G-E-N-N-I-D on Instagram. The title is if more people understood this about their morning coffee. And it's a really jacked chick. It says, if only more people understood this. Coffee on an empty stomach can spike cortisol too much, causing body fat gain over time. It says, details in caption. So let's read the caption here real quick. Drinking your morning coffee before eating could be doing more harm than good. In the morning, our bodies produce a natural and gradual production of cortisol as the sun comes up in order to tell our body it's time to be awake and to boost our energy levels. Cortisol levels are naturally the highest in the morning, True. However, caffeine also causes the cortisol levels to spike higher than usual. That's why you should not drink caffeine after about 3 to 4 m the latest. Don't know what that means. So when you pair these two things together, it can lead to an excessive amount of cortisol in your body. This can lead to energy crashes throughout the day, long-term stress, anxiety, raise cortisol even more, creating more issues. She's saying since caffeine can raise cortisol, it's already high, that is gonna cause your coffee to make you gain body fat. There's only one problem with this idea. There's absolutely no evidence whatsoever to support it. If we take people and we have them take caffeine or drink coffee and all other things are equal, do they gain body fat? No, they do not. In fact, sometimes the opposite happens. So what she's doing is what Paul Saladino and all these people do, which is you find a mechanism, a specific hormone, and you say, ooh, this raises that hormone. That means you're gonna get this downstream effect. Well, what they're not talking about is caffeine also raises your metabolic rate. It also increases lipolysis. When you're looking at human outcomes, what outcome do we care about? We care about fat loss. In the case she's talking about body fat. We care about fat loss. You can actually just measure body body fat in studies. Who gives a shit about what happens with cortisol? So when we actually measure body fat, we don't see what she's claiming, and sometimes we see the opposite. That is because outcomes are not just a single mechanism. Usually, whole body outcomes are the accumulation of hundreds, if not thousands of mechanisms, all occurring at the same time. It is the summation of those mechanisms that actually results in an outcome. So, I'd be happy for this person to go ahead and find me a single study demonstrating that caffeine increases body fat or that coffee increases body fat. It does not. Very clearly does not. Also, short-term rises and falls in cortisol have very little to do with stress and are much more to do with energy mobilization, which is why cortisol is higher in the morning because it's helping you mobilize energy as you wake up. Guess what also increases cortisol? Resistance training. Is resistance training gonna make you fatter? And in fact, there was actually a study done out of Stu Phillips' lab where they looked at the hormones that were secreted during exercise and which hormones were actually most closely associated with hypertrophy. And they looked at testosterone, IGF-1, growth hormone, and cortisol. Guess which hormone was most closely associated with hypertrophy? Cortisol. Now, cortisol isn't anabolic, so why would it be associated with hypertrophy? Well, because the workouts that increase cortisol the most are gonna be the most demanding, probably create the most progressive overload, and therefore create the most hypertrophy. Stop worrying about short-term rises and falls in hormones, especially those like cortisol, testosterone, growth hormone, IGF-1, they mean virtually nothing. They are fuel mobilization responses and nothing more. So Jen, my recommendation to you is put that coffee back in your morning routine. Might help with your cognition so you don't make such a dumb video next time. Catch you next week.